ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഹാപ്പിലി എംബരർ ഇൻ മൈ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ ഹാവ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻഡ് അബൌട്ട് ക്യാൻ മൾട്ടി ഫ്രെയിം ട്രാൻസ്മിഷൻ സോ വെൻ വി നീഡ് ടു സെൻഡ് ലോങ് എ ക്യാൻ മെസ്സേജ് വി യൂസ് ക്യാൻ മൾട്ടി ഫ്രെയിം ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രെയിം ഫ്ലോ കൺട്രോൾ ഫ്രെയിം കൺസിക്യൂട്ടീവ് ഫ്രെയിം So in this video we are going to learn the flow control frame flow status block size and separation time minimum from this example we can take the flow control frame here the data by zeros first nibble represents the frame type and the second nibble represents the flow status and the data byte 1 represents the block size and the data byte 2 represents the separation time minimum here the flow status block size and separation time minimum are zero and the frame type is 3 means it represents the flow control type let's check the possible values of flow status A flow status indicates whether the transfer is allowed or not. If it is zero means it is clear to send or continue to send. That means there is no issues in the uh, multi-frame transmission. So if the flow status is equal to 1, then before sending the next consecutive frame, a flow control frame must be sent. And if the flow status is 2, that means there is not enough space in the ecu so the can multi frame transmission is aborted the next one is block size the block size indicates the number of consecutive frames we send before the next flow control frame if it is zero means it allow to send consecutive frames without any delay or flow control If it is greater than 0 it indicates the number of consecutive frame which need to be sent before a next flow control frame you can see the example if the block size is 2 and the consecutive frames are 4 then let's see the flow the first frame is sent and the issue one sends the flow control frame the first flow control frame and we receive two consecutive frames so since the block size is 2 after this two consecutive frames the issue one will again send a flow control frame and the last two consecutive frames are received so this is the usage of block size the last one is separation time minimum the separation time minimum indicates the minimum delay between each consecutive frames so the st minimum equal to 0 to 127 represents the time in millisecond it's like 0 millisecond 1 millisecond 127 millisecond like that if the st minimum value is f1 to f9 the 0x f1 to f9 then it indicates 100 microseconds to 900 microseconds that means f1 represents 100 microseconds f2 means 200 so the f9 is 900 microseconds so thank you for watching uh, if you like the video please like and provide your comments please subscribe the channel for more videos thank you